Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. This morning I started off by editing yesterday's video and I remembered before I started this little app that you can download for MacBooks or I'm sure Mac as well and I'm sure they probably have a PC equivalent that you can download somewhere, a little like free software. But it's really, really good because I started editing and it was still sort of dark out and plus we had the blinds closed so it was really dark in the room and I find like the harsh white bright blue light that comes off the computer screen like really hurts your eyes first thing in the morning and when you're trying to go to bed it's really really harsh and makes it harder for you to fall asleep because it's like not relaxing and I remembered this friend of mine who had downloaded this and shown me it like months and months and months ago and I completely forgot about it until this morning because it was so hard but it's this thing called f.lux L-U-X for the MacBook and you guys should look it up. Uh, it's free to download. They have their website But it's really cool because you can put like a yellow tint on your screen and it takes away the harsh blue light So I'm gonna turn off the lamp here and I'm gonna show you guys the screen and this is totally not sponsored Like I don't even know if like, I don't even know if you could pay for this in any way Like it's just this thing that I remembered a friend of mine downloaded and I was like, oh my god my eyes this morning and it Really, really helps, so I'll show you guys. So this is what my screen would look like normally. It's like very white, I find. It's super, super bright. That's even on the lowest brightness setting. It's only one brightness. If I made it even brighter, you could see, oh my God, that kills my eyes. So on the lowest brightness, it's still really, really, really harsh. But if I just slide this down, then it gets a little bit yellow. And you can see already for me that like feels way easier on the eyes. And everything has sort of like a yellow tint. I mean, this is a little too much. But somewhere like here, it's just way softer and way easier on the eyes. So I definitely recommend if you guys have like a laptop or something or you do work on it, or even if you just like watch videos and stuff at night or early in the morning, I definitely recommend downloading something like this. I mean, you can look up lists. There's like tons and tons and tons of things that are similar, but definitely download something like this because it makes a huge difference. So this morning for breakfast, again, I'm having the same sort of thing as yesterday. It's another like yogurt bowl with some of Alex's leftover smoothie with some granola and strawberry, blueberry, uh, chia seeds and some honey. <coughs> and Alex is tripping. Okay. Take a sip of your water. Ever since Alex started making these for me and like I've seen her been eating them, I'm like more and more not obsessed with them because I still like to have traditional breakfast like eggs and bacon and stuff. But these are really good because they're so easy to make. They take like, I don't know, five seconds. <laughs> and then I just like whip it up together, put it in the bowl and then eat it. That's Alex's. Hers is no yogurt. It's just all smoothie on the bottom. But the same sort of stuff on top. What's up everybody? So we just finished breakfast and how many episodes did we watch this morning? Two? I don't know, we're on episode 17. Two or three, we're on episode 17 now, season one, so we're getting there. But it's such a crummy day outside today, ugh. It's completely gray in the sky, and it's like raining, and it looks warm, and all the snow is melting, Blah. It's like the weather goes from like freezing to warm to snowing to freezing to, well warm, I say warm, it's not actually warm, it's just warm for this time of the year. But it's so weird. Uh, so I'm about to head out now, I have to go home and get some new clothes and get new workout clothes. And then I'm going to the pool again to do workout and then go to work. Alex has a lot of work to do today, she's got a lot of editing and stuff so she's gotta get that done. Ugh, you know what's crazy though? I haven't worked out, well, I, I mean I ran a bit and we did some yoga and we did some stretching and we did some exercises in Hawaii but I didn't really work out and I haven't gone to the weight room in like two almost three weeks because of how long I was in Hawaii and I went yesterday and now I'm so incredibly sore my legs are like throbbing and when I walk up and down the stairs my butt feels like it's gonna rip and like oh it's a really 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 painful feeling but personally I actually enjoy it and I'm like more comfortable when I'm like that I don't know it's weird I just like so used to being like that my whole life just being sore like my muscles being a little bit a little bit torn a little bit sore and and like hurting when I try to move it's just normal to me and it makes me feel like I did a really good job and that I actually worked hard so it hurts a lot and it's gonna hurt probably for the next week, two weeks, as like I keep going back to the gym and getting used to it. But after that, it'll go away, and then I won't be getting as sore as much because my body will get used to it again. This morning when I woke up and I stepped out of bed, it was like, oh, oh, I can't even walk. Oh my God, my legs were like so stiff. Bye, Alex. Bye. Where are you? Where? Yeah. Oh yeah, you got a package today. Oh yeah. Oh no, Kyla got a package. I got a package today. Mm, cool. Um, I thought it was mine. I got all excited. I was like opening it then I'm like wait, who is this for? And I looked I'm like dang. So I'm expecting like four packages today uh. because this ever happened to you guys? I don't know but like sometimes I order things online from one store and they all ship separately Like some things are back ordered or they don't have like I don't know. It's weird. So this yeah, like one, weird. I'm getting like four packages today from the same company all sh coming on the same day in different packages. That's weird. Isn't that weird? Maybe it has to do with who like who they're using that day for shipping. I don't know. But they're coming from different 
like one's DHL, one's Canada Post. Maybe if maybe like where they're shipping it from is a different place in the country. Maybe. Like they have these items in Ca in in Montreal, and then they have these items in Toronto, and they have these items maybe well, it's from the states. From the states, whatever. Yeah, okay, I know. I ordered a pair of sunglasses, so I know that usually is like from a different area. But so whatever. that might be why. So because I did not get a chance to last night because my shaver was here, I'm gonna shave quickly, wash my face, then get changed, and then I'm gonna head out to go to my workout and go to work. Probably stop by my favorite little sandwich shop just to pick up a little sandwich. It's the same place I went when I went to Quebec City, and I go there a lot because it's so cheap and they make a fresh sandwich, and it's so easy to pick up for lunch, and it's just absolutely amazing, and I really, really, really love that place. Plus, it's like a it's like a simple, easy, healthy snack. Like, yeah, I could make it here, and I could buy the groceries, and I could do all that, but it's almost cheaper and way easier just to swing by. It's like right near work, swing by on my way to work, pick it up, put it in the fridge, do my workout, and then eat it after with like a couple of veggies or something like that. It's just like a perfect lunch that's so easy and convenient for me. So I don't know if the difference really shows up on camera. Not really. Well, I don't know, I can't tell, the screen's really small on the camera, but just finished shaving, just washed my face, now I'm about to head out, got changed. So what I'll do is I will continue the video tonight when I get back home, because for the rest of the day, not much time to be filming. So I will see you guys later tonight. So guys, I don't know how much you guys follow the internet altogether, but uh, if you've noticed recently over the last few days, like the last week almost, there's been this big explosion about the Fine Brothers, which is like a huge channel on YouTube, and they're the ones who created the, all the React series that you guys see, like Kids React and Elder Leaves React and all that kind of stuff. Um, super cool videos and really, really cool, but they recently released on their channel an update video which was sort of, you know, without going into too much detail, was sort of about them trying to license off their format and their video style so that people across the world could make videos similar to theirs and work under them and get shared and, you know, share the revenue and, and, and all that kind of stuff. But there was huge backlash across the internet, specifically on Reddit. And a lot of like YouTubers who do like their own style reaction or like parody type videos, a lot of them really like exploded and started talking about it. But on Reddit, it was really, really, really big and people were, you know, basically getting mad at them and bashing them and saying that they're just trying to like trademark and monopolize any video related to the world, to the word react and no one else would be able to w make a video about reaction. So basically I wanted to give like my two cents and sort of my opinion because I've been watching a lot of videos about it and sort of seeing, you know, trying to do the best I can to understand what I feel it's about. And it's funny now on their channel, the Fine Brothers, that both videos, they did an update video sort of like apologizing for any confusion, but without really clarifying anything. And both those videos, the announcement and the update video have both been taken down because the, the thumbs down were so, so, so high. It would be like 80,000 to 5,000, like 80,000 some thumbs down compared to 5,000 thumbs up. And it was crazy, crazy, crazy. So both videos got taken down off their channel. At least the last time I checked, they weren't there anymore. I just wanted to give my opinion about it. What I do want to say though, before I give my opinion about this is that I do not know these people personally. And all I'm getting is like, tons of background information and I'm like so far away from what it originally was about and I don't know what they actually intended and I don't know you know what kind of people they are or what they wanted to do or how this came out it just I'm taking it like completely at face value and this is what I see and this is the opinion that I've sort of developed after watching and thinking about it and learning things about it over the last few days. After watching their announcement video because I watched it right after it came out it honestly seemed like a really cool idea where they were trying to like extend out to smaller content creators and offering them the opportunity to, you know, make a, a, a Fine Brothers video legally. Like they could make the same video as the Fine Brothers and Fine Brothers would promote it and then they would share revenue and then all these smaller channels could have a chance to make a video that would be as popular as theirs because their channels all have millions and millions of subscribers, which sounds like a really cool idea, but then it sort of got twisted and if it was really only about, you know, helping smaller channels or helping even just individuals who want to make a video and helping them make a video similar to the Fine Brothers, that's an amazing idea. And that would have been such a cool thing. It would have built like this nice community for them. They would have had all these sort of smaller channels under them making videos and, you know, all of it done together and, and legally and all great and all that kind of stuff. And that would have been really cool. But especially after seeing their, their update video and seeing, you know, seeing a few other people talk about it, 
I got the sense that they were actually really trying to trademark the word react and kids react and elders react and you know there's history of the Fine Brothers getting angry at Ellen for doing a, a, a segment on her show about little kids reacting to new technology and it seems a little bit ridiculous to me that these people who seem to have a lot of experience in you know online entertainment they're like they've been around for years and years and years and they're they're huge and they're one of like the pioneers of youtube as people say but it seems weird to me that people that in tune with online social media would try to to monopolize and trademark an idea and just like a style you know because then we'd have to go back to the first vlogger and that person would be like well i invented vlogging and no one else can vlog because it's similar to my format or you could go back to the first gaming channel where you have like a little video in the corner and then like the game in the screen and the person's playing the game and reacting and, and doing a walkthrough. Well, then no one else could do that because it's too similar to that. You know, that's not, to me, that's not really how the entertainment industry works. If you're copying a specific catchphrase or you're copying a specific title or you're copying like a specific brand logo or a specific something, then yes, there's definitely grounds for copyright claims and stuff like that. But you know, in music, if one person started playing songs on guitar and then he was like, well, that's it. I'm the only person who can make music with a guitar. Like that doesn't make sense. It's just in the entertainment, like someone comes up with an idea, then people sort of not copy it, but you know, make it their own and, and follow with what's trendy and what works. But you can't like outright copyright an idea. You know, that's at least what I see. And it seems to be dying down a little bit, but they did lose a lot of subscribers from their channel. And it's not gonna hurt them that much because they had 14 and a half million. Now they're down to like 13 and a half million. So it's not the end of the world. And their videos that they're putting up are still getting a million, two million views. So it's not killing them, but it was a big, big, big PR blow for them, I think, because there were a lot of people that were not okay with it and did not agree with it. And it's just interesting, like, that's the danger with social media these days and the danger with how connected everyone is, even if we don't know each other, is that one bad decision can spark and it can just go like that and it'll explode like wildfire. And sometimes the backlash can be pretty, pretty bad. But anyways, that was just what I wanted to talk about a little bit because it's been on my mind a lot the last few days. I was watching a lot of videos about it and thinking about it. And I just thought I would share my opinion about it. And if you guys weren't, you know, informed about this or you didn't really see what was going on, you can maybe check out their channel or check out some of the other people who did, you know, talks about it or, or you know, gave their opinion about it and stuff like that. But I just, I don't know. I just thought it was really interesting how it was like a really, really big event across the internet over the last few days. Guys, I'm getting so obsessed with that yellow tint thing I downloaded on my computer this morning. It's like a miracle worker. Even just working on it tonight a little bit and like checking emails and responding to comments, it like, oh, it's so soothing on the eyes. And now I've been looking for one to use for my phone, but I can't find one. And apparently on the newer versions, like iPhone 6 and stuff, in the, the most recent iOS update, they have like an actual setting that you can change the tint of your screen. I can't do it on this. I have an iPhone 5, so I guess it might be too old. Cause I feel like it would be really good too, especially at night. Cause I find even when I turn on the brightness, like the harsh white and the harsh, like bright whiteness, like kills my eyes. And I'd rather have that soft yellow that I have on my computer now. But anyways, if you guys know of any apps that do that or anything like that, let me know because I'd love to put that on my phone so that it can be more relaxing. So right now I'm just hanging out downstairs because I am gonna go to bed early tonight and I gotta get up early to coach tomorrow morning. So I just thought I'd play some uh, PS4 before going to bed. I was doing some work earlier. I'm gonna take a short little break, maybe play for like a half an hour, an hour or so. Just have a little bit of fun before going to bed. And then I'm gonna go upstairs, brush my teeth, and get right into bed. This is what I'm gonna play right now, this game called Bloodborne. This game is a little bit interesting if you've never heard of it. It's sort of like a horror action adventure game sort of thing, but there's a lot of like sort of puzzles and combat oriented stuff that makes it a pretty difficult game. It's part of like a, a recent series of games that are like known as being very, very difficult and I've been hooked on them ever since. One of my friends showed them to me like years and years and years ago. Um, it's just really fun. But this one's like a lot more gory and like it has to do with aliens and like werewolves and all this like weird gory horror stuff. But it's a super, super fun game and if you're like really into gaming and you find games these days are just like a little too easy and kind of boring, we'll give this game a shot if you have a PS4. It's PS4 only, but it's awesome. It's like my favorite game of the last year for sure. And it's sequel, it's not really it's sequel, but the next game in the series called Dark Souls 3, which is a sequel to Dark Souls 2 and Dark Souls 1, that comes out in April and I'm really, really excited for that because I hope it's gonna be just as good and just as hard. Because that's like the main thing I love about these games is that the story is amazing and they're really, really challenging. 
You can hear the music now. It's got some pretty cool music going with the game. You kind of get that like eerie sort of werewolf horror theme going with it. It's a pretty awesome game. All right guys, I am just about ready to go to bed. Just gonna go brush my teeth and wash my face and do all that kind of stuff. I'm tired, gotta get up early tomorrow morning so I gotta try to get a good night's sleep tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out because then it shows me that you guys like the videos and that they're doing good and that you guys are enjoying them. So if you really did enjoy the video, give it a big, big, big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe down below so you don't miss any of these videos. And the challenge for today, guys, what I want you guys to do is I want you to sort of be an extension of what I'm trying to do. So my whole goal for this year is to spread as much positivity as I can and to help people be as happy as they possibly can. And I want that to spread. I want it to meet as many people as I can. You know, I wanna get this message across to as many people as I can. So what I want you to do is, if you know somebody in your life who might be struggling a little bit right now, who might not be having the easiest time right now, might be going through something really, really, really tough, what I want you to do is just take the time to talk to them. Take time out of your day to just be a friend and to just be supportive and to let them know that they have someone they can lean on and they have someone that they can talk to. So I want to try to spread this message as much as I can. I want to try to get this out as best as I can. You know, if you guys enjoy this and you find that it's helping you, maybe share the video. Point someone in this direction so that they can join in with us on this journey and they can see our videos too. Okay, because it's not just for me these videos. These videos are for all of us. We're all a part of this and let's try to spread it to as many people as we can. So, you know, if you have a friend or somebody, show them the videos, you know, get them on board with this journey through 2016 and help them improve their lives and be a little bit happier. That's gonna be our challenge for today. Just be a friend and be supportive and let people know that there's someone out there to talk to. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you had an awesome, awesome day and I will see you guys all tomorrow. Bye.